I used this phrase, these two words uh, with you a couple of weeks ago, and it really resonated with you. And I started talking about how the future um, wasn't swirly twirly and it wasn't transactional, but it was about being, uh, but, but it was about having content intelligence. And you just, you just, <laughs> just look at you. There you go again, right? You know, so it's like, I'm maybe three degrees today. <laughs> in Florida, but minus one. I'm startled. I'm startled out about this since we talked about it because it has been a couple of weeks and yeah, I tell, find tell. that phrase inspiring. It's, it, it really why, is inspiring. Why? 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 Yes. Tell me why it's so inspiring. We've just spent the last several minutes talking about the problem. And, and I don't think there's a learning professional out there who doesn't see that there's a problem, but now we've got a solution to it. Mm -hmm. And I just love the phrase content intelligence because I think it's where we want to be and we all aspire to that. So it is inspirational for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's let's kind of for our audience today, let's kind of talk about, I think that you and I said that when we use the phrase content intelligence, um, it, it people will resonate with it because it gets mm -hmm. after this, this really, really, you know, um, transactional problem that we, uh, low usage mm -hmm. problem that we have today. But, but it's also, it, it, it means just a couple of, of simple things. So let's kind of unpack this for our audience today. And I think that, you know, when we talk about content intelligence and our future and how innovation data and technology are fueling this, it, it starts with, um, we, it starts with a recognition of one thing. And that is, is that um, there's a job to be done and that job to be done there's a relevant way to describe the key elements of that job to be done, right? So content intelligence really kind of has to start there. And because Rejuvi is a leadership development company for leaders at all levels of this beautiful community-based, you know, leadership bench, it is about understanding, you know, what the job to be done is for a team leader uh, on an operational line for a service leader in a service center, for example, um, for an expert leader, uh, for example, in a, you know, a data analytics division mm -hmm. or a sales leader um, building a book of business in a territory or a senior leader actually leading a function on behalf of his or her business. You know, so it's st this, this thing called content intelligence you know, it has to start with a relevant description and understanding of that leadership development job to be done. Do you know what I mean, Kathy? Absolutely, yes. The community has to move to content intelligence. And what that means is same three things, right? You have to start with this accurate understanding of what the work actually is and you have to be able to describe it holistically from a human perspective and a business perspective and you have to understand it right down to at the attribute level you know um in order to help that learner grow over time you got to know what what the job really looks like and then number two you're going to have to give that leader um their heat map tell me exactly where i'm great mm -hmm. tell me exactly where I'm okay and tell me exactly where I need to get better because when you have that heat map then you can take those red zones and you can map it right to the digital academy and to say okay that course mm -hmm. and that course is exactly what I need to increase my red zone on this accurate description of what leadership actually is to improve it so that the next time I measure, it's at least yellow, but hopefully green. That's how to move forward. Now, when we have all this information, it, as a learning professional, I'm so excited because the motivation is there. This isn't a, a passive check the box activity now. This is all about me, how I can succeed as a leader, but moreover, how can I succeed in business? And that's so exciting. I, I, I think that's an excellent way to um, summarize. And I'm going to throw in a couple of really great phrases that um, have come up 
uh, today to add on to that summary. I think to move from a, um, a sorely twirly content train scenario, which we find ourselves in today with low usage rates, which means low learning rates, mm -hmm. we can move to content intelligence. Love that phrase. And to move to content intelligence, um, it's not that hard. It really isn't, right? You just need three things. You just need your relevant understanding of the job to be done. You need your heat map because that heat map then points you to the content that you that you actually need. And I think that um, as you move with this content intelligence, right, from a swirly twirly content train, what you're going to find is that you increase the skin in the game of absolutely every learner, and in our case, every single leader learner for your organization. And what that does over time is get you the results that you need.